Hi folks, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm an American living in Germany and today I decide to go on a little adventure. So right now it's an early Saturday morning and I am looking for a tunnel in the city of Mönchengladbach, Germany. You see, it all started when my landlord had mentioned to me that the town is named after a river that used to flow through here called the Gladbach and that it runs directly under the apartment that I live in. Oh, there's a tunnel. I hope that's not what I'm looking for. Right, so she mentions this to me and it makes me really curious and I start doing some research and sure enough, what's now just a trickle of a stream, what used to be the Gladbach River, does run pretty much under where I live. But apparently, it runs to the location I'm seeking today. I mean, I did a bunch of research online, and I found an old map of how the river ran, and I could see where it began and ended. And, uh, yeah, it seems like I'm an idiot, because what I just found is just simply a tunnel under some train tracks. Damn it, I was hoping I would find something creepy or interesting. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love graffiti. Graffiti is always interesting, and I mean a long, dark, spooky tunnel is kind of interesting, but this isn't what I was looking for. Maybe I took a wrong turn. Maybe I need to try another path back here. There's a couple of them. Okay, so that was the wrong way. I hit a road. Look, I'm just an American in Germany, and it's close to Halloween, and I just want something spooky. Is that too much to ask for? They don't celebrate Halloween over here. Well, this path goes a little bit further that way, so I'm, I'm going to investigate. Well, one thing I learned about this little part of town I decided to walk around in, this is apparently where a lot of people walk their dogs, and... Not one of these middle-class white women feel like they need to clean their dog shit up. Like, five, six different ones I've passed and they're just letting their dog shit everywhere and I think I already stepped in one. If I was mayor, if you don't have a yard, you wouldn't get a dog. I'm just saying, I love going and trying to get lost in places like this and I'm sick of them being ruined by white women with dogs who don't think they have to clean up their dog shit. That's all I'm saying. Oh my god, so I took another path and I found a pile of velvet pants. Surely this will lead to good things. Surely this is a good sign. Let's continue on. Okay, so now I'm having one of these moments where I'm in a location where there is no clear path and I'm nervous, not sure about what wild creatures could eat me here. I think I'm gonna chicken out and try to get back onto a, ah, a real path. I hope I don't fall down. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Good thing I got pants and socks and boots because I'm pretty sure this is nettles. Brennensel, they call it in German. Okay, wait. I think this is the path I came in on. Okay. Now I just gotta figure out where I'm going. Which way is something spooky? No garbage and people in the dog shit everywhere. Which way? This is pretty. The sun shining through the canopy. Ah, nature. Huh? I mean, it looks pretty. I just repeat, I wish it didn't smell like dog shit because of jerks. Stone. 
Really neat looking tree right there. Nice. Huh. There's a fence over there. There's a fence up there ahead. What the heck is this? Oh, folks. Did I find the creepy thing I was looking for? Did I find it? It's pretty creepy. I know the Germans out there are going, That's not creepy. It just collects rain. Shut up, Germans. Don't be so serious. It's Halloween time, and we're trying to find Spooky. Ooh. So I'm not sure if this is what I was looking for when I said I was looking for the entrance to the what is now a canal, but what used to be the original Gladbach River, which is now a little more than a stream running underground, but that looks similar to the picture I saw in a news article. But I'm just confused because... Uh, what I found on Google Maps, I thought this was supposed to be on the other side of that mountain, and I couldn't seem to get to that. Huh. This is interesting. This is a neat little area. I might investigate this a little. I suspect it doesn't go too far because there is, like, um, gardens over there. Like, Germans will rent little plots of land and grow vegetables and hang out there on weekends. Little gardens. Maybe I investigate just a little bit. Okay, I'm wondering why there's a fence here and why there's a hole in it. Because when I see a hole in a fence, it makes me want to go through it. Hmm. I wonder what's back there. I wonder, I wonder what's behind this fence. What are they hiding from me? Okay, so there is something in there. There's another gate that's been opened. What the heck is that? It looks like an old skate park or something. Hmm. I mean, it's like wide open. Don't fall, Armstrong. Let's take a quick look. get killed. <gasps> what is this? Holy shit. What? I don't know what I just walked into. I, I got a feeling I should get out of here. What is this? It's like a tower over there. Like, like you'd see in industry. Is this an old factory ground? Really strange. Nice graffiti though. Oh, I got a nervous belly. I feel like I shouldn't be in here. Oh, wait a second. I think I've seen that building from the train. Ah, uh, I think I have a little idea where I am. What this is supposed to be now? Or what it was? I don't know. But, just because there's a building on it, that's making me think I should probably get off of somebody's property, even if it is wide open. It looks like stone being stored over there. Huh. I mean, this place would be perfect for a skate park. Fairly interesting. That's closer to, like, what I wanted to experience today. I like this path here. It reminds me of where I'm from. I come from a small town in Pennsylvania, and I grew up right on a canal and uh, the other side of the canal is a bit of a field and then a river but 
there was a, a towpath, they called it, running along the canal. And I don't know, this little gully here and this neato little wooded path reminded me a little bit of home. I'm going to wander and investigate a little bit more. It's only a little bit creepy. Beautiful ferns. I love ferns. I think they're pretty. Okay. Let's see. What's down here? Anything spooky? Anything to give me that Halloween feeling? Oh, what is this, folks? What is this over here? Uh-oh. We might have found spooky. What is that? Oh, it looks like an old tunnel. Interesting. How far in can we see? Look at all the bugs. Comment if you see ghosts. That doesn't look so old, but it looks creepy. And when I say creepy, I mean kind of cool. I can hear the little trickle of the water here. I would totally love to set up a tent and camp here. Really pretty. If it wasn't for the fact that there's train tracks up there, <laughs> and it wouldn't be completely quiet all the time, Seriously, I would we camp here. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. So interesting. I don't think I can get down there. Okay, it should be said. I have vertigo, which means sometimes I'm kind of unstable on my feet. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna attempt, because it's looking like it's getting tighter and tighter, the path. The, the path was pretty wide open back there, but here it seems to get thinner and thinner along this little canal. Yet I'm curious. I don't know, the more I walk, the more I'm a little bit worried about where I'm going to come out and finding my way back. I don't think I'm going to attempt to go too much further down this path. It's really grown over down there, and it's getting like thinner and thinner and thinner, but I do love this fresh running water here. It's so pretty. Look at it. Relaxing. No. Mm, interesting stone down there. Old, maybe. Hmm. Here again. I think I'll just take a quick break, catch my breath, catch my balance, stare at the creepy giant hole. I thought I was all alone back here. Another white woman came along with her dog. She actually was nice enough and said hi. 
And then she let her dog shit on the ground and clean it up. Yo, honestly, I need to stop being out here talking smack on these people. I, uh, I'm pretty sure that last lady whose path I crossed probably thinks I'm drunk now because I almost fell on my ass twice walking away from her. I lost my balance. <laughs> ah, yeah. So I got out of the woods and onto a normal path that basically runs along those gardens I was telling you about. And I was just curious about the other side of the train tracks where we saw those tunnels. I think I spotted something interesting back there. Huh. I wonder what that is. Maybe I investigate. Garbage. Humans suck. Oh boy, what is this back here? I'm not the first one, so I'm not discovering some kind of ancient secret, that's for sure. But I'm curious. What the hell is that? Maybe an old water tank? Okay, there's a bit of a hill there. So, I'll meet you at the top. Hints of cool graffiti. That's enough to motivate me to climb on. Oh fuck. Oh boy. I don't know. I'm not sure. Whatever it used to be. It's filled in now. What? And there's another one. I mean, just knowing that there's train tracks over this way, I'm thinking like food or water or something in storage, but I don't know. I am sure that one of my highly intelligent German viewers knows what the heck this is and can tell me. So please do that in the comments. I'm gonna investigate further. Look, it's got like a stone roof on it. What? Or it did. It had a brick roof, but it's been filled in, whatever this is. Does it go on? And unfortunately, there's a lot of garbage here. Um, oh, and a condom. That's a nice, classy place to do the devil proud. Strange. So there would have been an entrance, no? See, there's like, like there would have been like an entrance into whatever these round things are here. Some kind of storage for the train system for sure. Neat. Is there a window in that? No. Is there? No, it's just a crack. Weird. But, wait a second, like... There's some sort of stone structure right here. What the heck is that? Oh boy. What the heck is this? Am I on top of some old building? Okay. This is weird. Because whatever this used to be, it would have been massive. And I don't understand why they would just like fill it up with dirt and let it go and but yet leave it here to make random Americans curious. Oh, I hate the litter everywhere. That's a hole. Guys. What? This clearly looks like some sort of foundation here. There must have been a structure here for a litter. Interesting. Huh. It clearly looks like the foundation of some structure that was here. I 
and it just kind of like dissolves into the land. Huh. But again, I repeat, you know, this is here, the circular things are there, and just over, you can see the sun shining through, just past that, there's there are train tracks, which is why I'm assuming that these are not something ancient and mystical, but probably something to do with the train. Part of me wants to go down that hill and investigate if this structure goes any further or if there's any other further structures, but <sighs> I think I've done enough exploring for today. Number one, I'm tired of smelling dog poo everywhere, and I'm disappointed in humanity when I see this much litter just left on the ground. That's just me demotivating. But also, besides those excuses, uh, I'm feeling kind of dizzy, feeling kind of tired, feeling like it might be time to head back into civilization. Before I abandon the forest and head back into civilization, I have to do something. I have to sort through my booty. That's right, I said booty. You know, like pirate booty? You didn't think that I just came in here and I'm going to leave empty-handed. You do know that I'm American, right? I can't really explain to you why I do this, but sometimes when I'm like hiking and walking around places, I pick up stones and I take them with me. Like, look at this one. I grabbed it because it was so smooth. It's so smooth. And it's kind of neat. It's got like a little like two-color thing going on. And it's a nice one. I could really hit a Nazi in the head with that good. But also, I picked usually I don't take ones this big home with me, but I just thought it was kind of pretty. I think once I run some water off of it, it's gonna be kind of a pretty shade of like shiny white, I think. And I got some little ones I take with me just because I liked how they looked. I found them interesting. This one I just found had an interesting shape. And it seems like, like, what's that stone called? Like a sandstone? I'm probably wrong. But it seems like the kind you, you would find on old uh, statues. And just because it was so shaped funny, I took it. I don't know. That's my little fantasy brain when I'm out in the forest. <laughs> These are like my jewels that I take home. I've got a little spot where pigeons visit me and hang out. And I lay some of the stones there and make them a nice little place to march around and snack. So I started this trip today. Number one, first off and foremost, I needed to get the heck out of my house and get some fresh air. Number two, it was making me really curious if I could find that tunnel. After researching about the old river that used to flow or flows under our city and how I found eventually a news article with a picture of the tunnel entrance, but I'm not so sure I found what I wanted to find today. But nonetheless, even with the white women leaving their dog poop everywhere and unfortunate amounts of garbage in the woods. Um, it felt good for me to get out, investigate my uh, neighborhood, find a little corner again that I didn't know existed, and I just want to thank you for coming with me. Thanks for being here. If you too enjoyed our little walk in the woods today, don't forget to click like. And folks, until we meet again, until that next video, I hope that you're over there. Take care of yourself.